can see the ventilation pole, 350 in, 350 out. The clock is ticking and lives hang in the balance as a fire has broken out deep underground. And it's up to this team to rescue trapped miners. Luckily in this case, it's just a simulation at the College of Education. But for those involved in the rescue, the pressure is almost as intense as the real thing. They give you a scenario right on the spot and they strap you up with that, that airtight mask and uh, you go in there and you, you just have to extract, extract somebody and uh, under the time. They're secured. We're going to go check on the, the fire stores. Okay. Yep. You can't let your stress get the most of you because that's kind of when you'll, you'll crumble under that pressure. Students from 10 universities across the country competed at the mining games at the U of S. While many of the exercises are designed to determine the best way to remove minerals from beneath the surface of the earth, officials say this one focuses on safely removing the most valuable resource in the industry. We've actually had several major fires you know, over the last 10 years in Saskatchewan where we've successfully rescued everybody that's underground and put the fires out. And that's because the guys train like this every year. We have trained mine rescue personnel because it's different fighting a fire underground and rescuing people underground. It's confined space. In all, there were 24 events held as part of the games. Each school received a score for every event and a champion was crowned at the end of the weekend. It ranges from strictly academic events, um, exam packages and a mine design, to events that are more physical where you're operating equipment and operating a jack leg, and like mine rescue, which is one of the more practical events. You're going to want to stop the one that got one meter slack. The annual event receives a great deal of industry support as well. Redpath sent this simulator to be used as part of a mystery exercise for the students. In addition to testing the skills of the participants, the mining games have led directly to jobs with sponsors for several competitors in years past. You're taking the 16 best mining engineers from 10 mining schools across Canada and you're putting them together head-to-head -to -head competition and then you're taking them out for banquets after and it's like an extended interview. You see how they react under pressure and then you get to meet them uh, what they're like away from work. It's a lot of fun to come to these events. The energy is great. The students are really enthusiastic and it's uh, interesting to get out there and see what kinds of ideas that they're coming up with and um, it is our next workforce. In the end, Queen's University walked away with the championship but these competitors say they all left the event with something special. You can relate with everybody because everybody's here for that common purpose and mostly everyone's in mining engineering as well. So it's great just to kind of get other people's per perspectives on everything and see how everybody feels about, uh, about the mining industry. For Campus Life, I'm Simon Hyatt.